Sears and GIMP where you're going to see and as if and there should be a link on the YouTube video to actually go and get this uh, example that I'm looking at but um, there's four layers here you have black boxes, blue boxes, white background and Xavier rules which is just uh, a text currently none of these layers are visible so they're not going to be appearing in our screen here but if I click to the, on this little eye icon next to all of them, that'll turn on the visible the visible property of the layer, and it'll pop up on our screen. You'll also notice that I can click on these layers, and when I do, it turns that layer into a blue highlighted. Uh, you'll also see these little tiny dashed lines. I don't know if it's going to appear up on here. But what that means is that this is the active selection, or the active layer, um, that we can currently work on. What you're going to notice is that you can actually say click on this white background and even though this black layer is up I can draw on the white. So if I turn off this black and blue you'll see that when I was painting those black circles they actually appeared on my white background. I can just do a control Z and undo those. Another neat thing about layers is that you have this opacity level so I can actually click on the black boxes layer here and turn down the opacity and I get a darker blue color and what that's doing is just kind of distributing an alpha channel or making the alpha channel more transparent on this black layer and it's acting as a darkening agent on these blue boxes. The other feature that you can do with um, the layers is this locked here this checkbox, if you click on a, on a layer and check this, what it does is it locks down your alpha channel. So what I can actually do, I'm going to turn my color to red. Now when I draw, the only thing that's going to become red is anything that isn't 100% alpha. So all these black boxes, they'll get drawn on. It's really nice when um, you have a lot of alpha in something and you don't want to do selection on things. You can just lock that alpha channel down and uh, don't have to monkey with selecting the boxes at all. A few other short quick things about layers. If I right click here, you'll see I have a few different more options. I can do new layers, I can duplicate the layers, I can merge a layer down which just means that that layer is going to be stacked on top of the layer right below it. I can delete it, change its size or scales, and then um, another big one is a lot of times you'll open up say a JPEG and there won't be any alpha channel there. If you want to add an alpha channel you can click on that layer and, and select this option add alpha channel and then you can get an alpha channel in there as well. Another thing to be kind of aware of is I'll just deal with this blue. You'll see that I have this text Xavier rules. We have this other option here that if you click it it's uh, little chain link, you can actually link two layers together. So now these are tied together. So if I try to move the, you see how my blue layer is active? If I try moving my blue layer, that Xavier rules text moves along with the layer. Again, it doesn't lock anything down or, or do anything like that. It just moves layers together when they're linked like that. I'm just going to do control Z's to get those all back. Another thing that you'll want to play with is this mode. And there's a, tons of different ones um, of different modes that you can play with. The ones that I usually use is, you know, overlay. And you'll see that I got that checkered box pattern over Xavier rules or, you know, screen's going to make it brighter like that or burn just going to place the black on there. So there's a lot of different uh, modes that you can play with there um, that will give you a different different look depending on what you're really looking for. So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Hopefully it's uh, helpful for you and um, good luck with layers.